Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Monday, March the 20th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room, and I get live on the mic. First of all, I share my screen all day long, and I get live on the mic at about 9 a.m. and up to 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And again, you know, this is uh, starting for me anyway. Fewer trades, loving it. Fewer trades, more quality trades, I suppose. Uh, this by far is the best trade so far for me today. I'll go over the ones. Had a couple that didn't work, but you know, usually what I do is I just take small losses and uh, move on. Uh, but this one, now if you've been in the room, you know, over the last uh, month or so, you know that this has been a high, high, highly followed stock. Um, not so much a month, but uh, well, a month because Sam in our room was talking about it way back here. And it had this spectacular rise. This here is as a result of their doing a financing and around 675. Now, for me, the interesting thing is that it did not go down ever below the financing price, which is right. I think this is maybe, no, this is right here. I think, I think it's 675. I mean, memory, I know it's a little under seven, but it never really got there. I mean, here, here, here's the day it did, uh, you know, they announced the financing. Um, this is the lowest it got, 749. So, you know, after the big, big rise, there's the financing, the news gets digested, gets digested. And I, I basically said in the room, if it got over 860, I'd be in. And that's exactly what happened. See this little high there of that, uh, that candle there. And let's get to a, 50, a five minute time frame. And this is where I got into the tray. Well, it was basically right there. And I've sold out some. I have sold some out along the way uh, at, let's see now, 9.11, got over 9. So I, I took some out at 9.11 uh, just in case it couldn't sustain it. Pulled back down, got out some more at 8.91. Um, I'm holding on now. And actually, this was, uh, Holly had an alert on this at, oh shoot, I forgot to move it up, move my, the Holly's over. Anyway, I think the alert was around 8.80. Uh, was on this pullback right there, and or maybe it was here. Might might, might have been right here. Anyway, uh, the bottom line is that she alerted it also, and so I'm still in this. I would love to be able to try to swing this one, you know, because I think that this is the type of one. You know, a lot of people were so excited about all this happening, and until the financing, I mean, who knows what, where where it might have gone. So, anyway, I'm in this one and loving it. Um. Let's see, the other trades did not work out as well. You know, it took some small losses on some other trades. This one, uh, disappointment in that. Take a look at the uh, five minute chart. So had the had a big pop right when the market opened. It re re really not a big sign in the pre-market. I mean, it closed at 178. It's up here, but not, not like a huge sign in the pre-market. Uh, liked it over two. Took the trade at, at right around here, two. In fact, it was right all the way up here. Uh, had the big pop, two tw not big pop. It had a pop, uh, resisted doing anything. And then on this, uh, I, I actually exited for about a, I uh, got out at 197. So it took about a six, seven cent loss on that one. Uh, CRBP was, it was also a Holly alert. And unfortunately, you know, I got in right around here. I think the alert was just under 10. I waited for the 10 break. Um, I got in a little bit late. I got in at 10.15, 10.20, right in this area. Excuse me, it looked like it was holding. Had a nice nice little pop up to 10.30, resisted taking anything. And then on this move, Holly got out also. I decided to get out and then look what happened. It just popped uh, immediately afterwards. So uh, unfortunately, my timing just was a little bit off on this one. And... Also, LPCN, the same sort of thing. Now, this is the wake-up call. This was uh, from, from Holly. Wake-up call. The alert was right around this area. I took it at here. I got out here. Holly did also. Um, you know, it's my favorite strategy, no question. I did say probably was looking at it as a scalp because it was, it was close to the, uh, the whole number five. Uh, it, I was just waiting for a little bit more. You know, I was hoping maybe it could get in the high 80s. 
uh, 480s and the, or the four, uh, low 490s, and I was definitely going to take some out, uh, just give me, give me the opportunity. So I took a little loss on this one. Um, you know, but I love it when we get the wake up call and it's just over a whole number, uh, kind of like, I think it was NVCN on, on Friday and, and, and another one have to wait on this one, have to see if there's anything going to come of it. RVP, uh, got into the trade, uh, right, right here and got out right here as, as it uh, collapsed. Take a look at the daily though. This is why we're, well, why we were looking at it. Uh, this is, um, this had some kind of a ruling. I think they, uh, some kind of a, like a, th believe it or not, a $320 million patent uh, ruling go against them. So that, that's why this collapsed. And, but you know, we watched this and we thought, okay, well, if we could take this out, uh, it might start to uh, fill some of this gap. It, it did very, very briefly. And then as it came back down, I decided to get out. But for sure, you know, my day was made on, on this, uh, this one right here. They will take a few shares on this one. And as I say, I may in fact swing this one. Uh, the other one I'm, I'm watching also, the volume isn't quite there yet, is this AGFS. This was on Friday also. Uh, I like this little pattern, you know, sort of doing nothing right around all this area. Then, you know, on, on Friday, I'm sorry, this would have been Monday, I guess, Monday, little pop consolidation and then on Friday it uh, it looks like it's trying to take this out and then again look at this potential gap uh, gap fill so I am watching this one to see if uh, we can get any sort of traction above 340 345 or so and then I might take some and maybe try to hold on for for another potential swing all right that is I believe that's it um, you know here's another one that I am watching Let's see if I can still find it I think it's SP W H, yes, sportsman. Um, look at this one now. The only problem is is and and we're looking at this one as a potential swing trade. All right. The only problem is earnings are in three days. Depending on what earnings are, you know, I, I'm certainly not going to do anything now. Love to see this one take out five though, of course. And then you know, look at this uh, potential uh, void fill. But earnings are in three days, so later on this week, I'm going to wait to see what happens. If, if it's, you know, if they're decent, then it might start to uh, fill some of this void. So I've got an alert set. In fact, I don't have a set right now, but let, let me just set the alert right around 514 and see, um, see what happens. All right, that's it. Again, uh, um, for me, I, I'm really enjoying not taking so many trades. Um, you know, I, I'd rather have the quality. Uh, certainly, AUPH was, was excellent for me because... Just the, the psychology of it all, you know, the, the financing gets digested, the news gets digested, the pullback was not that extreme. I mean, well, it was fairly extreme on a percentage basis, but it didn't even come close to where the financing was. That is a great sign, in my opinion. I mean, if it goes to the financing and below, that means, you know, people are really, really ticked off. But it held, and now maybe it's on a bit of a comeback trail, and who knows, it might start to challenge that 10 level again. All right, well, listen, um, we have a promo code still. Uh, it is no snakes, N-O-S-N-A-K-E-S, -E no snakes, all in caps. It's good until 11.59 p.m. tonight, Eastern time. That'll get you 20% off uh, either a monthly, an annual a subscription, and either on our TI uh, Trade Idea Standard or our premium service. All right, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you in our trading room tomorrow. And yeah, again, I should tell you, I do open the room at about quarter to nine. That's when we start looking at the pre-market uh, information, see what the movers movers are in the pre-market, see if we get any continuation on any one of them, and then I get live on the mic at nine o'clock uh, uh, Eastern time. All right, thanks for listening, and we'll see you in our trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.